Good afternoon, everyone. I'm once again Christian James Suetas, uh, NS Wildlife uh, student. And uh, my present uh, presentation is all about the preliminary assessment of herpetofauna uh, in Philippe Wilson Martin. And uh, this is my presentation after the objectives of the study, significance, methodology, results in discussion, conclusion, and recommendations. So, it is uh, for one basic question, so what is a marsh and what is its function? So a marsh is an area of low-lying land that uh, is flooded in wet seasons or at high tide and typically remains uh, waterlogged at uh, all times. So my studies, like, uh, for example, one example is my area, which is the Lipoasa Marsh. And uh, the functions of uh, marsh is that it supports uh, biodiversity, especially for the home refuge of uh, uh, vertebrate taxa, uh, the herpetofauna, also with the uh, microorganisms, the uh, mammals, birds, uh, reptiles, and amphibians. So this one is uh, just a presentation of what is the uh, uh, marsh. And then, uh, it is uh, responsible for a number of natural processes like uh, nutrient cycling. Then uh, also provides products and uh, services, and like for example, uh, for food and also cultural value. <coughs> so my area is the Liguasan Marsh, which is the conglomeration of three marshes: the Liguasan. Libungan and Ibanan area in uh, Maguindanao, North Cotabato, and uh, some parts of Sultan Kudarat and South Cotabato. So uh, it is the largest marsh in the country with about uh, 220,000 hectares. With 140,000 hectares are cultivated if uh, when uh, the time that uh, the marsh is on its dry season. And uh, it is as uh, uh, declared as the key biodiversity area in 1998 uh, uh, report of the DNR and um, 30,000 hectares of the marsh has been declared as a game refuge and uh, bird sanctuary. So this one is the map map, map of uh, the uh, Liguasan Marsh located in uh, Mindanao and this one is the uh, Liguasan Marsh part of the uh, North Cotabato and this one is from the Maguindanao area, the Ibanan and the uh, Libungan area. So uh, previous uh, research on the area has been uh, uh, not yet uh, been established well but uh, there are many uh, funding agencies that uh, uh, give the the app or provides the for the uh, protection of the area. So uh, one is the Meda Region 11, uh, Region 12 prepared uh, Legal and Marsh Development Master Plan, uh, which is from 2025 and recommended the designation of Legal and Marsh as a protected area. And uh, UNDP GS program. The Foundation for the Philippine, Philippine uh, Environment through the Gawasan Marsh Integrated Conservation Resource Management Project. And uh, current efforts include the National Program Support, Environment and Natural Resources Management, uh, or the NPS, uh, ENRMP which aims to enhance ecosystem services for global and local benefits through financing of integrated ecosystems, management, and uh, all, however, uh, conservation initiatives in, uh, in the area is still ongoing, but uh, the, the efforts or the research that has been conducted is not been uh, published in the uh, area. So this one is the occurrence of, the table represents the occurrence of uh, different amphibian species that has been uh, identified from 1998 and 2002 surveys, which is the only uh, data that we can, uh, we have 
from the uh, area. So 1998, uh, they have surveyed the part of the Maguindanao, and 2002 is in part of the same also Maguindanao and the uh, parts of South Cotabato. And then uh, there are, uh, these are the uh, frog species <coughs> that they have been identified. And these are the reptile species also in uh, 1998 and 2002 research. So the significance of the study is that yeah, we, can prov uh, we provide uh, initial data for the uh, protection of the area and provides additional information on the uh, situation in the marsh, especially for the critical endangered uh, Philippine uh, freshwater crocodile uh, due to several threats occurring in the area. So the objectives of the study is, uh, the main ob objective is to present initial report in the herpetofauna uh, uh, in the area uh, conducted on July and August 2016. Spe specifically aims to uh, determine the species of reptiles and amphibians <coughs> present in the selected areas of Liguas and Marsh. Uh, provide habitat description in each selected area of Liguas and Marsh and identify current and future threats to reptiles and amphibians. So for the methodology, first is the establishment of the study area. So we have surveyed the area before we have we conducted the research. Uh, by the way, this uh, research is funded by the NDFI or the Magindanao uh, Development Foundation Incorporated. So, uh, establishment of the area. We surveyed four. We selected four <coughs> areas in North Cotabato, uh, the Gaunan uh, in Lang, the Dumus also in Lang, and Dunguan, the same in Lang also, and in Kabatan uh, North Cotabato, the Puyapon, Barangay Puyapon. Then. Uh, Collection of data, so we just have the uh, capture and release method, and also uh, it is a rapid assessment. So we conducted uh, four four days and three nights per area, and uh, a total of I think 15 to, to 20 persons per uh, per site, and uh, we divided each for uh, two two teams so we can uh, provide for, uh, we can capture more species. Uh, <coughs> then the data processing, uh, we uh, get their uh, morphological uh, measurements and also uh, we use the Alcalabuc and uh, from uh, Diasmos at Alna checklist for amphibians and also for the and then the data analysis and so you know this is a purposive sampling method so we just use the opportunistic method for capturing this uh, herpetofauna uh, because we have been, it is for initial survey so we haven't yet established the uh, permanent plot. So this is the map of the area so the uh, Puyapon, Dunguan, Gaunan, and Dumas area. So uh, the, the area is uh, situated near the game refuge areas, which is uh, a bit uh, issue because all the parts of uh, area, especially even even near the game and wildlife refuge, uh, all uh, the lot are entitled already. So. Uh, they have converted major parts of the the areas as cultivated and agriculture. So this one is uh, in the uh, area. Then the So it is 
are this is one of the uh, hardest part for survey, especially for capturing the reptiles and amphibians, because uh, the area is flooded and that time is the um, wet season, so medyo malalim po yung tubig, kaya kinakailangan magbangka. And this one is from the uh, part of the uh, area where last 20, uh, last summer of 2016, uh, the area suffers from El Nino, so nagkaroon ng forest fire. And then, nung pagdating na namin is umulan na, so medyo may tubig na ulit. So, so, for the results in discussion, so, uh, we have identified four species of amphibians, which are uh, quite depressing because uh, most of we but most of the uh, amphibians that we captured are invasive species so <coughs> for the Rhinella marina and the Oplobatrachus rugulosus or the Chinensis. Um, and the, uh, for the reptiles, uh, we have recorded uh, 11 species of reptiles, uh, two snakes representing two families, uh, oh, yes. And uh, two tur turtles, two families, two skinks, three gecconi, and uh, one agamid lizard, and also the uh, critically endangered Philippine problem. So, the for the for the amphibians, uh, it is noted that Vitigara and Modii are. Uh, known to uh, associate with these uh, invasive species, the Rhinella and uh, Rubulosus, which is a, a uh, it is according to the ICN and also with uh, Dr. Diasmus et al's uh, study. And uh, the Moody Eye, it is uh, quite, uh, what's this? Uh, uh, bit uh, issues because it is not yet established the name of the uh, species. So the, the data is uh, still deficient for this species. And then the, for the reptiles, uh, we have captured the python in the area near, near the uh, human settlements. And the Cocodilus mindorensis was recorded uh, uh, captured in the area of Lang, the Gaonan area, which uh, they have captured in a uh, fish net or fish trap. Then, uh, as you can uh, observe, all, all the species that we have captured are associated with human uh, disturbance, or uh, they are, they don't have any, uh, so as a um, summary of the data, so in Dumos we have we only have one species, and it is a uh, Rubulosus, and it is said that uh, Rubulosus is the most uh, destructive invasive species than Rhinella marina. It is because uh, this species. Uh, said uh, according to uh, Diasmos and uh, Brown, these species that they have uh, studied are uh, known to eat uh, small snakes and other frog species and endemic uh, uh, amphibian species, which is a uh, big issue in the <coughs> area, which they have, uh, they are present. For the habitat description, so generally all the sampling areas were cultivated and dominated plant species were associated to human disturbance, such as the sago, which is uh, also the same with the abus in the abusan, and some grasses and sedges. 
then uh, white areas were already converted into agricultural land, such as rice, the upland rice, the corn, and the vegetables. Then the fish pens and traps were also observed in the area. And uh, exploitation and expanding human settlements were also observed. The Gerbaria, the Figuera. So some, some photos are ours, some are I got it from the articles for presentation. So this is from the uh, checklist of uh, yes, yes. So this is the Pizar Barrier Mundi. The Rubulosus. The Ranella Marina. <laughs> the uh, Malayo Python. Uh, the Dendrolapis the, 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 the tropis of the Pashata. The Pogeto. The Gihaira. The Amidapilus. Uh, and uh, the Kura Amboinensis. The Chinese soft shell the Discusenensis. And the Hydrosaurus uh, Pustulatus or the same thing. And also the Lamprolepis Maragina, which is uh, commonly in, uh, probably seen in the uh, human. And this one is the uh, Propaginus Mundurensis, which is called in the area. So this is Malang from Lang. So they have uh, they already released it. And uh, previous, I, I haven't uh, included the the porosus that was uh, captured recently, but I included a photo. So this is the photo of uh, porosus that was uh, captured in Piyapon, in Barangay Piyapon, Kabata. Uh, So for my conclusion, so anthropogenic activities may cause huge impacts on the assemblage of herpetofauna in the and marsh. Threats such as habitat destruction, poaching, and hunting, land conversions, and especially the introduction of alien species causes the climate And uh, it comes to one of the most threatened species of the crocodiles, which is the crocodilus indurensis. Hence, legal as a marsh is in need uh, for protection prior to the conservation of this species. So, my recommendation is that uh, it should, uh, we should conduct, or the area should be conducted uh, for, of course, uh, uh, seasonal sampling and combinations of sampling techniques like uh, transects and uh, pitfall trapping. Uh, measure environmental variables that can affect herpetofauna diversity, distribution, and abundance. Uh, expansion of the study area and uh, invasive alien species impact assessment. So, for a yeah. um, my advisor, Mangju, Sir John Aristabora, which uh, is my former professor in the uh, University of Southern Indiana. Jenny my Banyo, Brian Ray, Britannia, and Torrent Salvania, my colleagues, and the LGUs, UPLD, MNH, and the Special Wild Force, uh, my co And also the uh, Magindanaon Development Foundation for funding the uh, research. <laughs> 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 